Good evening and welcome to West of Loathing. I am your humble host, Spoons Asunder. Now I've seen Markiplier play this game and it looks absolutely hilarious and full of puns, which is which is totally my sense of humor. So I'm gonna begin a game here and Wanted for protagonizing. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. I don't want to be Virginia Smith though. Change that. Did I not pick my own name? There we go. Well, frankly, I'm pretty terrible with names, so I guess I'll be Frank. Frank. Frank what? Frank Punsworth. <laughs> Because he's worth many puns to me. And apparently also worth over a thousand meat. I don't know what unit of measure that is, but uh sounds like a lot of meat. I'm raising my meat, which can make it. Okay, I spent way too long trying to get this to a nice even number. But I finally hit two thousand, so I think that's a good time to start protagonizing. Let's get into this. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. <laughs> nice game mechanic there. Should I be a cow puncher, a bean slinger, or a snake oiler? Tough decision. I'm kind of curious to see what all these magical looking beans are about, so I think I'll be a bean slinger. Looks like he's throwing exploding beans at people. Magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined in loathing. Hmm. And the bean slinger is the mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. Well, I want to be a bean slinger. I don't know why everyone's been murdered by cows, but... Hmm. Looks like this is my humble abode here with a convenient poster on the wall telling me how to move in case I've never played a video game in my life. Goodbye bed, time to head west to chase my real dreams. Har har. You read the spine of one of your books. Her Herb Drew and the Incident at the Terrible Woods. Who's Rufus? These are all weird. The Hero of Butcher's Gulch. That doesn't sound much like a hero, but... Maybe it's a misnomer. Grizzly Canyon, same thing. Oh hey, this one might come in handy. You got an item walking stupid. I don't know why that's a book, but uh, okay. Goodbye desk, comb my hair. Sure, why not? You comb your hair one last time, you get one XP. <laughs> Goodbye phonograph. Oh. Where'd the music go? Can I turn it back on? There you go. Music all the time. Hiya, Russell. How you doing? <laughs> okay, I get it. Russell Crowe, right? Caw! I would say it seems a little demeaning to keep Russell Crowe as a caged pet. But, uh... I guess he doesn't mind, or at least he's not one to crow about it. He's probably just biding his time in silence until he can pry open the bars and escape the makeshift crowbar. <laughs> if that's not enough, I bet he could still just rustle himself through anyway. <laughs> Put those acrobatic skills to use. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to release him. I'm going to miss you, buddy. Now he can fly to Croatia or wherever. He'd rustle a cricket. Okay, you can have a cricket. You know, I won't be around to feed him anymore, so I wouldn't want him to croak. <laughs> you grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Goodbye, Russell. Be good. I'll miss him, though. I mean, we've been stuck together for so long, like Velcro. It'll be tough to see him just vanish, you know. Like Croatoan. <laughs> I 
Uh, okay, I think that's enough pontificating for now. I think I've earned my gold star for puns today. Or maybe not gold, maybe it's chrome-plated. Alright, I think Russell Crowe would want me to move on. Let's see what's in here. Nothing on the hat rack today. What a mess. Stack firewood. Alright. This hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. Hmm. That one's not very good. Gonna miss mom's cooking. Mom's pie safe. <laughs> it keeps all her pies safe. Because of course it does. It'll probably go terrible in there and it'll get all moldy and miss meals with the family. What's in this room? Pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Oh boy. Uh, Disquisitions Arithmetica? Something. <laughs> you pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Uber die Darstadt Barkeit eine Funktion durch eine trigonometrische Reihe. I'm pretty good with German, but. I don't really want to bother trying to translate that. These are all weird. It's a good brother's toy box. Got a puzzle cube. Rubik's cube. Always liked those. So tidy. Covered with all weird diagrams. I guess that's my brother's room. I should probably stay out of that and not steal his toys. But I'm outside. Where are you? Mom smiles warmly as we approach. I'm leaving now, Mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's that book you wanted for Crimbo. It's Crimbo. I know it's early, but... Oh, maybe that's like Christmas. <laughs> Christmas in this crazy world. The one about picking locks, the one about desert survival, or the one about bartering. Hmm... Well, I know picking locks is useful in like every single game, but I want to see what the desert survival one is about. Desert eating and drinking. <laughs> Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. Of course. This is father morosely jabs at the haystack. The hat doesn't fit you, dad. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. How about time for me to leave? Oh, he's all broken up. Listen, I, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favorite can of beans. <laughs> I won't even try to describe how creepy that is. A can of infinite beans. You'd think a can with an unlimited number of beans in it would be really exciting, but these beans are pretty terrible. It's a pretty cool thing to carry around, though, I guess. Okay, I guess I'll never go hang hungry. Thank you. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I already did. Goodbye. It's a haystack. Big through it. A needle in a haystack. Because I'm just that skillful. Is this brother? Yep. Brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Goodbye, bro. Hey Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. It's got a point, you know, why are you going west anyway? Hmm. I really think this farm... I mean, it had a book with stupid walking, so I'm, I, it might be a stupid farm. There's nothing offensive about that. Okay, maybe there is. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year, and that statistic is from before the cows came home. So how dangerous are these cows? I'll be all right. It's fine. Who cares about statistics? Uh, you worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Gotta be the tough guy. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. Well, that's a nice bro thing to say. I'll totally miss that. Okay. Give him a punch. Nothing else hidden around here. So... Go west, young man. Yes. West up, low then. What is that? Turnips? 
something. That's a very large rock. <laughs> They're framing this like some cheesy western movie, which is perfect, I guess. Film editor? There's no film. Dialect coach. Now that might be needed with all the slang and western stuff. What stunts? They're stick figures. Can you hire a stick figure stuntman? 200 miles later. Yeah, that's about how long it felt. There we go. Dirt water, 300 miles. That's not that far. It only took a few seconds. Well, the bad news is that you fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple hours, and now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. Thinking it might be offended by having no meat there. The good news is that you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. Can a stick figure even get dusty? Uh, who are you? Well, I'll tell you when I've had, had, had enough. Ah, oh, dang nabbit. A turnip. Get a turnip. A dusty turnip. I'm sure that'll be useful. What did that say? Too far to go on foot and get a horse. Okay, that'll be first order of business. It's a chunk of wood from the bro broken hitching post. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to need a broken board for, but... Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to run into the cacti. Or that. Yeah, well. Deal with it. You still drunk? Yep. Wait, what? What is that about a secret? Hey, I'm mosey in here. What about your secret? No, tell me your secret. No, come back. Fine. Cactus man? You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself. The name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just coincidence. <laughs> Alright. Does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being, being a cactus. Oh, <laughs> no, it's actually kind of nice. Natural fermentation process inside the cactus part of it. Uh, me. Keeps me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's a mite boring. Yeah. Probably don't want to be drunk all the time. Wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? No. Well, if you happen to find one, keep me in mind. Will do, Will. I got a board, though. I can smack him with that. Leave him. The doctor's is closed. That's not a good sign. You even trade stuff? Step right up, step right up. Braid's the name and trades the game. Braid is a stupid name. Seriously doubt that his name is Braid. <laughs> Howdy. Well, sir, today I'm trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. You have weird deals. And to the cunning Skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. I don't know if I'll need the needle more or the dynamite. I'll wait until I come to a use and then see if I want to trade. The Sheriff. Hello? Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff. The sheriff in these parts. The what? <laughs> the sheriff, okay. Blasted sign painters. <laughs> that doesn't mean you have to pronounce it that way, just because the sign is wrong. Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? Why not? Questing and the like. Well, should I be selective? No, anything. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here, what call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with them. Why would they want a cell door? It ain't, uh, well, well, it ain't much good without the door. Yeah, you got a point there. And I need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. For me. <laughs> Why don't you do it? You're the sheriff. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I really have no faith in the sheriff, so uh, I'll do it. 
Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. Takes the pistol out of his desk. <laughs> Is that... Yeah, that's the deputy. This pistol was deputized during one of the Scherf's most recent benders. Nice. Okay. So if that pistol is technically the deputy, do I have any authority, or do I only have authority if I shoot people? I guess there's not much difference. <laughs> deputy? You deputized a gun? Yeah, everyone's drunk around here. You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there there ain't much to do here except drink. Yeah, <laughs> like I was just saying. Here, let me write down here. The, here, let me write down where the Fricker Gang's hideout is for you. Makes a little note on your map. The Fricker Gang's hideout. All right, that's something to do. Wanted Fricker, no, Bimmy Fricker for face thieving. That sounds like a horrendous crime. Are you like killing people and carving off their face? Or you just steal the face and leave them alive with a mutilate? Yeah, probably should stop thinking about that. Wanted poster artist. A blind person. Maybe you can re correct that sheriff mistake. Wanted for bird theft. Naked Mike Bernstein. Alright. I don't know why he's called Naked Mike, and I probably don't want to know. Uh, the horse is gone drinking, of course, like everyone. The bar is the only place that's open. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door, as there always is, shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, dag nabbit? Well, well, uh, you can't drink in here without a hat. It ain't proper. Points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Okay. You look through the hat box and find the magical black Stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. Sure. <laughs> it is magical. It's got stars on it and everything. Barely enchanted hat. Don't be fooled by all the stars. This ain't got much magic in it. Grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, sir. Uh, Pete? Thanks, Pete. Gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller, yeah. You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Weller, you sound a little desperate, old crazy dude, but no pressure. Uh, all right, yeah. Uh, I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Looks like there's a lot to do in this bar. Can I take a different hat? You already have a hat. What, what would you do with two? I don't, I don't know. Variety? It's the spice of life after all, right? Bartender. Walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for lost mugs. 25 meat each. So I guess meat is the currency in this game. Which... I don't know how that works, but all right. We'll keep a lookout for mugs. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Frank. It brings you to our little backwater. Well, more quests. Oh, the usual. Came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of a uh, drinking, I mean, errand town, if you catch my meaning. Mean and no one here does anything. If you're looking for a real job, I recommend talking to the railroad people up by dirt water. Okay. Uh, what about dirt water? Dirt water is interesting. It's far enough west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law, but not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by the damn cows. Lots of opportunity there. Sounds like a little opportunity. Pauses for a few seconds, lost in thought. Yep, if I were a younger man, I'd probably head that way myself. Okay, what about a railroad? Manifest Destiny Railroad Company, of course. From back east. They're trying to run a line to Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. Are, there, are they hiring? Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that. Alright. Aaron Town, you say? Yeah, this forsaken bird is always falling apart in one way or another. The whole... The hostler's always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no account, no account, sure. <laughs> Man, this accent. 
<laughs> and that no-account Sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Well, I already saw him. Anything else? I've got a goblin loose in the basement. As one does. Some cowpoke in from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. Oh, yeah, I know a goblin, yeah. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Weak fungicide. The liquid in this can is actually very powerful. It's just that it's tailored to kill weak fungi. Alright. Maybe I can use it for something else. I'll take care of it. Zzz. These guys are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker. Po <laughs> how to play poker card game. They came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard, and I can't even. Good luck! Uh, yeah, I'm not talking to that crazy guy just about yet. Can I talk to you? I should probably leave him alone. There's the goblin. Ooh, newspapers. That's for the cactus guy. Boring Springs Gazette. I didn't read that. Crate of Nurse brand whiskey? Good for what ails ya? <laughs> what ails ya? I guess we never established your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is can reach the top of the bar or the bottom of the basement in a box if you're not afraid of goblins. Alright. The goblin shouts, Bree Yark! Yeah. I don't want to attack him yet. I don't know if I want to use that fungicide for something else if it's more potent than it looks. It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking at it, that it's absolutely disgusting. Of course it is. Well, I gotta look, I guess. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. Why? It's disgusting, and the smell, even from a distance, smells horrible. There's an option to look. I gotta look. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth-encrusted spittoon. I, I don't, I don't understand what's wrong with you. <laughs> Wait, is there something shiny at the bottom? What's wrong with me is I understand game mechanics and know that if there's an option to look, that there must be something there. Uh, get the shiny thing. Reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit through the vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. That's quite an image. You hesitate. <laughs> Probably an understatement. Uh, never surrender, though. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. Makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. There is no escape. I'm already in it. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrine slowly, not daring to risk the splash. Not daring to risk splashing the content contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of a ring, probably some kind of disease as well, or several. Congratulations? I got a nasty ring. Though getting this ring was traumatic, you have to admit that it was worth it. I mean, I don't have anything else, so it's better than nothing. Hooray! Alright. Uh, I didn't mean to talk to you again. No, oh, I guess there is more. Good to see you again, Frank. You tip your hat, bartender. Who's this fellow at the bar next to me? Because cause it's not weird at all to ask the bartender instead of the person that's right next to you who they are. Well, might be you <laughs> should ask him that yourself, seeing as he's right there. Yeah, exactly. He won't bite you. Well, he might. I don't know this game. Howdy, I'm Frank. Howdy, Frank. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? Oh, he's the hostler, and he did say he'd gone drinking. Uh, how's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. The business is booming, nice. No, no, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. It's too bad they weren't literally flying. I would want a flying horse. Name of Pegasus. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Uh, yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Yeah. And you know that and still do it anyway? Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One, kind kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. 
Come see me at the stable, I'll be happy to show it to you. Alright. The woman glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. Uh, back to the bartender. Who's the lady that's glaring at me? Drinking whiskey out of a beer mine. That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why is that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustrations about it. I wouldn't describe it that way. It's probably sadness and. Ouch. Woman glares at you. Ah, oh, now, I, now I can talk to her. Howdy! <laughs> Not the best way to approach someone who's in mourning. Howdy, cowboy, who's been. Who's gonna be searching this platoon for his teeth if you don't leave? Well, I already been there. <laughs> and I found other people's teeth. Does that count? Okay. I'll come back. I don't want to talk to you. Just thought I'd say howdy. <laughs> okay. Alright. Nice. That, that stepping in that is a good way to end the episode, I think. So, I think there's a few things to finish up in this town in the next episode, and then I'll head on to find my way to dirt water and keep going with this insane western world with my magic star hat that's I guess barely magical but I, it's magic many thanks for watching this video and until next time may your spoons remain <laughs>